February 11, 2010. You're watching a short-range ballistic missile target being destroyed by a high-energy laser mounted on a modified Boeing 747, while both are in flight. The Missile Defense Agency's airborne laser test bed reportedly carries a megawatt-class high-power chemical oxygen iodine laser that's coupled with precision pointing and atmospheric correction equipment, and it is now proven capable of knocking a ballistic missile out of the sky. Onboard sensors detect the boosting missile, track it, compensate for atmospheric disturbances, and then blast the target with the laser, heating the boosting ballistic missile to critical structural failure. The entire event, from launch to target destruction, took less than two minutes in the test. The system is the result of a cooperative effort led by Boeing, in partnership with Northrop Grumman, which supplies the laser, and Lockheed Martin, which is developing the fire control system. The aim is to deter enemy missile attacks by disabling the attacking missiles while they are in the boost phase. That means hitting a target capable of 4,000 miles per hour with a beam of light traveling somewhere close to 670 million miles per hour. As you can see from this cockpit camera view, the relative motion can seem quite small. The U.S. Missile Defense Agency hopes similar devices will one day be capable of tracking and attacking multiple targets at a range of hundreds of kilometers at a lower cost than current technologies. But for now, the price of the program is a problem. Defense Secretary Robert Gates canceled what had been an order for a second airborne laser system. The original will continue to participate in experiments.